Zero to six hundred thousand dollars in under seven months with Bullseye Credit Group. Guys, my name is Blake Torado, and with over forty-two active credit card businesses that we're currently managing their go high level and their media buying, guys, I want to show you our top best converting credit pair funnels that we're using right now. Guys, stick along to this video. I'm showing the inside looks of what our funnels actually look like that you can use as well too. Guys, at the end of this video, if you like any of these funnels and want to use it and implement in your credit pair business or the sales management system or consulting or any ads, whatever you need that's holding you back from growing your credit pair business, guys, there's plenty of ways to get in contact with us and I strongly encourage you to do so. Guys, stick around to this video. You're going to like it. All right, credit for guys, business owners and hustlers, let's talk about setting up this funnel really quick. So the way, and, and we're always changing this, so the layout might be a little bit different when you're checking it out, but we have two options here. We have a simple funnel, and then we have a more so a credit pair, credit monitoring, self sign up funnel. So it's an extra maybe one or two steps. Let's start off first with the, with the, with the simple one, you know, landing page, schedule, and thank you page which is over here, credit repair, simple funnel. The entire point of this is just to get them to schedule an appointment. For starters, Toby, you already have, and I'm, I'm gonna restart this just for the people that are watching here, is you already have your own website over here. You know, your website is currently linked to alphacreditsolutions.com, but you wanna use a funnel mainly, mainly so that it's, hey, it's just laser targeted to just schedule an appointment with me. I would recommend, you know, adding a subdomain like funnel.alphacreditsolutions.com to be able to link it. Then what you would want to do is you would want to go to settings over here. You would want to add the domain onto here and also integrate the chat widget. Make sure that's enabled. Sometimes that doesn't pop up unless you go over to chat widget over here, scroll down to the bottom and click save. Then what you want to do is you want to, you know, the landing page. Let's start off with the first step on here, the landing page. You know, it's the, this is the most simplistic one and also the most high, the highest converting funnel page that we have on here so far. So that's why we have it on here right now. If you don't like that page, no worries, because you, we have like 14 different options on here. You go through here, you know, you can, you can preview any of them by clicking on this. Boom, boom, boom. And let's say that, hey, wait, I really like this one. Renter to homeowner to dark, whatever. And if I can flow and follow step, have a credit solution, and you're gonna move it over to credit for simple funnel. Add step to select the funnel. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to credit per simple funnel. As you can see over here, it has now importing. I'm going to move this down here. Typically, you would probably just want to just delete it because you don't need it anymore. As well, too, if you ever accidentally delete something, let us know because we do have a backup database of everything. So no worries. But what I'm trying to say is that now, great. We just cloned it into here. Now, we're going to want to do is you want to go through this funnel because make sure it's obviously the copy that you want. And also, see over here it says Taylor Financial Corporation. So we're gonna also wanna kind of rebrand it. So I'm gonna, I would do command F, you got Taylor Financial. I think it's just the one that we might have left on here. We'll probably, probably by the time you guys are watching this right now, probably change it, honestly. It's just that we're always adding more funnels. I was kind of just go through the copy over here, make sure it's the way that you like it, the way that you want. Over here, click on this, go to the next page, schedule survey confirmed. Okay, cool. Next step that you want to do after you kind of brand out that funnel page, you also want to, of course, test it out, make sure it works. Next thing you want to do is understand this. There's a survey over here. Now, this survey kind of adds more friction. So, Let's say that you want more people to schedule up appointments with you, you know, and maybe even at a cheaper cost. So you would want to probably add the survey after the schedule. But let's say that you want, you know, higher quality scheduled appointments, you know, knowing that it, if you're running ads or, for example, it might cost you more money. Add the survey in front of the schedule. Okay. And of course, when you're making any changes, make sure you just, you know, obviously go through it. You know, open up the page and kind of go through it, as well as make sure you make changes both desktop and mobile as well. But that's pretty much for the funnel. Let me show you where to upload the DNS into here. Go over to here, you go to domains. You press add new domain. Like I said, for your subdomain, probably be like funnel 
that's alpha credits dot com and you want to press add record manually excuse me and you're probably just going to, want to add for just that one is you're going to add a senior record a funnel and also just copy sites dot ludicrous or whatever this says over here onto the value do you understand how to do the dns portion because i can walk you through that really quick i got it all right cool cool now let me show you the last portion on here is we went over the credit for symbol funnel. Now let me show you over the, the self sign up, which is pretty much the, the funnel that gets their credit monitoring prior to actually hopping onto a call. Get reports. Five steps, maybe kind of like six steps over here. Home quiz, book consult, get reports, ID club credentials. Obviously, if you want to get the credit reports prior to the actual consultation, take it and just move it accordingly. But the home page, of course, like I said, same same situation as before. Go to the landing page options, find something you like, or if you already like this how it is right now, just freaking use it, of course. But add a landing page option that you want onto here. Um, change it out, brand it, test everything out yourself. Um, but this one, pretty much the entire point of this is, like I said, to be able to get the reports prior. So if you're using Identity IQ, if you're using Smart Credit, you know, people are always using different things. Obviously, change out the image over here from identity IQ to smart credit. Change out the link on here to oops, to the actual smart credit website that is your affiliated link. And the next step over here, yeah, pretty simple over here. But I'm pretty sure that's about it. Oh, yeah, the next page over here, it asks them for their credentials over here. So ask them for the name, username, email, and password as well so that when you actually hop on a call with them you should be already set but yes that's the fun over here last thing over here is mortgage broker acquisition is this is the mortgage broker acquisition funnel pretty much to build out these partnerships to allow you to just get more referrals you know right here we do have i think we have three landing page options for the mortgage broker acquisition funnel um, so if you need those other two funnel options, for some reason, maybe in a glitch, it's not on here right now, let me know and I'll just import it into your account as well too. Business funding funnel over here, pretty simple. Yeah, we, I think we have another option under business funding in our library. So if you go to app.funnelhackerlab.com, and I'll show you over this link as well too. If you go to the funnel library over here, let me have business funding. All right, awesome. Here's another business funding as well too. You're just gonna copy this link, click on the link, go high level over here, and that'll create a link that you open up on another tab over here. You paste the link into here and it import it into your account. But I'll make sure you have login access to the funnel library as well too here. Yeah, business funding. And then the last one, like I said over here, is the freebies. You know, ebook, a master guide over here, another master guide over here. We also have a couple other ebooks on here as well. Pretty sure. Free book tripwire. There's a couple more funnels over here that you can use. And the last one is the affiliate funnel over here. Pretty much just asking people to partner with us. But yeah, that's the the credit for funnels over there. Does that make sense in terms of kind of setting it up? It, yeah. It's a it's a perfect. It's a drag and drop builder, so it shouldn't be too difficult when you actually start kind of just using it. I have a, a more extensive video that if you need, it shows exactly how to use the funnel builder. It's like an hour long video that goes over how to upload graphics, upload different things onto here use the drag and drop builder if you need that let me know if those who are watching this video as well mean that as well of course let me know i'll shoot that over to you but i think that's pretty good for the funnels there cool you guys need help guys always reach out to me